Hello my precious friends, I really hope that you're doing great. Welcome to today's class. It's our third lesson on a given form 3 mathematics topic called commercial arithmetics 2. So we are looking at our seventh example which reads that find the accumulated amount if 10,000 shillings is invested for two years at a rate of 12% per annum compounded uh, monthly. So of course the first step is to highlight the key information that we are given in the question. So we are told that the initial investment was 10,000 uh, shillings. So of course the initial investment usually represents what we call the uh, principal. Therefore the principal or the initial amount invested was 10,000 uh, shillings. Then it is invested for a period of two years but the rate of investment was 12% per annum which is being compounded uh, monthly. So of course we are going to uh, calculate the new uh, rate of investment. So the rate is 12% per annum. So of course per annum simply means per year. So the rate of 12% uh, per annum, this one translates to the rate of 12% uh, per year. So per annum simply means in uh, one year. Now, uh, the interest is being compounded monthly. Therefore, we'll find an equivalent uh, rate that is per month. We know that one year is actually equivalent to uh, 12 months. So one year is uh, 12 months. So compounded monthly simply means that the interest is usually calculated after every month. Then of course, uh, the interest is added to the uh, principal and used to calculate the new interest for the a second month. Therefore, we are given the rate per annum or per year. So we need to get the rate per month because the compound interest is being calculated on a monthly basis. Now, if 12% per annum is equivalent to a period of one year, which is actually 12 months, what about in one month? Because remember, uh, one month, that is what they mean by being compounded uh, monthly. So the rate per month will be uh, one month over uh, 12 months over 12 months then of course multiplied by uh, the rate of uh, 12 percent. So if we compute this we are going to get the rate per month uh, being equivalent to of course the months are going to cancel out 12 into 12 1 uh, 12 into 12 also 1. So this one is equivalent to a rate of 1 percent that is per month. So this is now the rate uh, which is being compounded on a monthly uh, basis. Now, after getting the new rate, uh, the next thing we need to compute is the a new period. So period is usually denoted by a uh, small n. Now, uh, the period of investment was two years. So we'll say the period of two years, we, are, we want to find how many months are in two years? So of course, to easily get that, we usually take the two, then we multiply with uh, the reciprocal of uh, the rate that we have just found. Of course, the rate, we divided it by 12. Therefore, the period, we are going to multiply it by 12. Because remember, we want to get the number of months that are in two years. So of course, one year has 12 months. Huh? Therefore, two years is going to have uh, a period of to multiply by 12, of course, which will give us uh, 24 uh, periods. So 24 months are actually contained in a period of two years. Then, of course, uh, from there, we are going to calculate the accumulated amount. So accumulated amount, that one simply means that you are dealing with uh, the compound interest. And of course, we give the a formula for the compound interest for the accumulated amount being equal to principal into one plus the rate of uh, 100, then of course to the power of n. So the accumulated amount uh, will be equal to, the principal was 10,000 uh, shillings. So we'll have 10,000 uh, shillings, then into one, then of course plus the rate. Now the rate that we, we are going to work with is the rate which is per month. That is the 1% because it is being compounded on a monthly uh, basis. So our rate will be 1%, then of course over 100, then to the power of our period, we are going to work with uh, 24 because there are 24 months in a period of two years and it is being compounded on a monthly 
uh, basins. So of course, uh, if I compute this, uh, I'm gonna have the following. So my accumulated amount will be equal to 10,000 uh, uh, shillings, then of course into. Uh, so if I take uh, this will be one, then plus one divided by 100, of course, this will give me 0 0.01, then to the power of uh, 24. So this will be equivalent to uh, 10,000, uh, then into one plus uh, 0 0.01, of course, I'll get 1.01, uh, then of course, to the power of uh, 24. After getting this, you're going to feed this on the calculator. On the calculator, you simply uh, press 10,000, uh, then of course, multiplied by, then uh, uh, 1.01, then uh, there is a simple uh, this way on the calculator, that is the simple for the power, then of course, you press 24. If you press this procedure on the calculator, you will get the accumulated amount uh, being equivalent uh, to uh, shillings, uh, 12,697, uh, uh, then of course, and 30 cents. So this will be the accumulated amount uh, for 10,000 shillings invested for a period of two years. Uh, that is uh, compounded monthly at a rate of 12% per annum. Then uh, we check our next example, which is uh, example eight, which reads that find the accumulated amount if 15,000 shillings is deposited for a period of three years at a rate of 16% per annum, which is now being compounded uh, quarterly. So of course, I'll highlight the key information that I'm given. Uh, we are given the initial investment, which is our principal, uh, which is equivalent to uh, 15,000 uh, shillings. So the principal is 15,000 shillings. Now the rate is 16% per annum, but it is being compounded on a quarterly uh, basis. So we'll say our rate is 16%. The rate is 16% per annum. Remember we said that per annum simply means per year. Therefore, this rate is equivalent to a period of one year. But the compounding is being done on a quarterly basis. So of course, a quarter of the year, we know that one year is around uh, 12 months. Therefore, if we want to get a quarter of 12 months, of course, this will be uh, four here, one, four here, uh, three. So this one is equivalent to a period of three months. So it means that after every three months, they calculate um, the interest that is generated. Then, of course, is added to the principal to calculate the interest for the next quarter of the year. Therefore, to get our rates uh, to rhyme with uh, on a quarterly basis, we'll say if 16% per annum is equivalent to one year, what about a quarter of the year? What about a quarter of the year? So if 16% is in one year, what about a, a quarter of that particular year? So it will be a quarter divided by a one year, then of course multiplied by the rate of 16%. So of course, uh, 4 into 4, 1, 4 into 16, uh, 4 times. It means that our rate will actually be equivalent to are 4%. So this is the rate uh, that we are going to use uh, in our working. So of course the 4% is in a quarter of the year, which we have clearly seen that it is in a period of three months. Remember, if you take three months, uh, three months will form a quarter of that particular uh, year. Then after getting the new rate, what we need to compute next is the period. So we are going to ask ourselves, how many a quarter of the years are in three years. So our period is three years. So to make our work easier, whenever you are given a period of three years, you simply multiply with whatever you've divided with the rate. So we divided the rate with four. So to get the period, we'll, we are going to multiply that period by four. In short, you are, we are asking ourselves, how many quarters are in three years? Now we know that three years simply means three multiplied by 12. Three years has a total of uh, this will be 36 uh, months. Now, a quarter of the year is equivalent to three months. So it's like you're asking yourself if um, how many three months will be in 36 months. So of course, this will be 36 months divided by three, uh, which is gonna give us three here, one, of course, three here, one, 
then 3 will go here 2. So we are going to get a total of 12 quarters in 3 years, which is the same as saying taking the 3 years, then of course multiplying with whatever you divided with the rate. So 3 years multiplied by 4, we are going to get that in 3 years, we are going to have a uh, 12 quarters. We are going to have 12 quarters, which is being compounded after every uh, 3 months. So that is how we interpret that part. Once you interpret that part, uh, the next thing is to substitute in the formula for the accumulated amount. We know that accumulated amount is equivalent to the period into 1, then plus the rate over 100, then of course power uh, n. Now when we substitute uh, the values in our formula, we're going to get uh, the following. So the accumulated amount will be equal to the principal was 15,000 uh, shillings. So I'll have 15,000. Uh, then of course into one, then plus the rate. So the rate we are going to work with a rate of uh, 4%. So this will be 4 over 100, then power. Our N, clearly we got it as the 12. Uh, our N was 12. So this is going to give us uh, 15,000. Uh, then into this will give me 1, then plus 4 divided by 100, I'll get 0 0.04, then to the power of 12. So this will give me uh, 15,000, uh, then of course into 1 plus 0 0.04, I'll get 1.04, then to the power of uh, 12. At this stage, you simply substitute in the uh, calculator. So of course, this is what you'll feed in the calculator, you just say 15,000, uh, then multiplied by 1.04, then you press the symbol for the power, which is usually in this form, then you press 12. If you press equal sign, you'll get that the accumulated amount will be equivalent to uh, shillings, 24,015 uh, uh, shillings, then of course, point five zero and fifty cents. So that will be the accumulated amount uh, for a period of uh, three years. Next, we look at our example number nine, which reads that Charo deposited uh, 50,000 in a fixed deposit account for a period of uh, two years. So the bank pays compound interest at a rate of 12% per annum, compounded semi-annually. Calculate the total interest Charo Charles investment and in that particular uh, period. So we'll start by highlighting the key information that we are given. Uh, we are given the initial deposit, which is actually the principal of uh, 50,000 uh, shillings. Then you are told that the period of investment was two years. Uh, then the bank uh, pays a compound interest at a rate of 12% per annum compounded semi-annually. So our rate of interest is 12% uh, per annum. Remember we said per annum means per year. So the rate is 12% in every year or in a period of one year. But it is being compounded semi-annually. Remember semi means half. So semi-annually means half of that particular year. So when we talk of semi-annually, we mean half of the year. If a year has 12 months, then of course semi-annually simply means a half of 12, which is actually six months. So it means that the interest is calculated after a period of six months. Then, of course, it's, it's added to the principal and used to calculate uh, the total amount for the next period of uh, six months of that particular investment. So to get the rate that you're going to work with, we'll ask ourselves if 12% per annum, 12% uh, means in one year, what about a half of the year? Remember the word semi means a half. So what about uh, a half? of the year or semi uh, annually so this will be a half of the year so of course divided by uh, one year then multiplied by the rate of 12 percent so it means that the rate are uh, calculated semi annually will be a uh, two here one two into 12 of course will be six so the rate that we are going to work with will be six uh, percent now this rate is actually after a period of uh, six months or simply what we are calling the semi-annually. So this is the semi-annually. Uh, so semi-annually simply means a half of the year. So that is the rate that we're going to work with. Then to get the period uh, represented by uh, N, 
Of course, we are going to say that uh, the period was a period of two years. So we'll ask ourselves, how many six months are in two years? So to get that, we'll take the two years, multiply by whatever we were dividing with our rate. So the rate, we divided it by two. So the period, we are going to multiply it by two. So it's like you're asking ourselves, the period is two years. Then the compound interest is being calculated semi-annually. That is after a period of six months. So we are asking ourselves, how many six months are in two years? So of course, we know that two years, uh, one year is 12 months. Uh, so two years will be times two, which will be 24 months. So it's like you're asking ourselves, how many six months are in 24 months? Of course, that will be 24 divided by six, uh, which will give us uh, by two, this will be three. Of course, by two, this will be 12 by three, one by three, four. So we'll get that we are having uh, four semis in two years, which is the same as saying, taking the two years, then multiplying with whatever you divided with the rate. So two by two, of course, this will give us a period of four months, which is being calculated on a semi-annually. So this is the semi-annually. Uh, so we are having uh, four, six months in a period of two years. Once you get that, the next step is to substitute in the formula. The accumulated amount is equals to principal into one plus rate of 100 of course, to the power of uh, n. So if I substitute in the formula for the accumulated amount, I'm going to uh, have the following. So the accumulated amount will be equal to uh, the principal, which was uh, 50,000 uh, shillings. So we'll have 50,000 uh, then into 1 plus the rate. Our rate was being charged at 6% semi-annually. So this will be 6 over 100. Then, of course, power our period is four, so to the power of four. So this will give us uh, 50,000 uh, 50, into one, then plus six over 100. Of course, this will give us 0 0.06, then to the power of four. So this will be 50,000 50, into one plus 0 0.06. This will be 1.06, then to the power of four. Of course, at this stage, you substitute in the calculator. So you'll just feed a uh, 50,000, uh, then multiply it by 1.06. Then you press this simple for the power 4. You feed this in your calculator, you'll get the accumulated amount uh, being equivalent to uh, shillings 63,123 and 80 cents. So this will be the accumulated amount. Thank you very much for accompanying me until the end of this particular top, uh, until the end of this particular a video or lesson i do not take it for granted in case you are new to the channel kindly hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so that whenever i upload a new video you'll get notified until next time this is kind tuition academy thank you very much